Hi and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here and I'm back with another in my new series of um, swatching watercolours and looking at a short history and comparing a few brands of the same colour. Raw Sienna is um, an earth colour and it came originally um, from around the city-state of Siena in Italy where it was widely produced in the Renaissance for paint making but um, the Siennas along with um, ochres and umbers have been around sort of for millennia they were some of the first um, the first pigments to be used for cave painting etc. Raw Sienna has um, a darker version that's burnt sienna and that is um, where the raw sienna pigment is roasted to produce a deeper brown pigment and I shall look at that in another video. These days siennas are probably mined all around the world um, but they are also uh, produced synthetically. The colouring material is um, natural iron oxide um, that provides this earth, earthy yellow brown but um, these days it's quite often um, synthetic iron oxide, in other words, um, a synthesised version that's used in a lot of um, paint. I'll be comparing um, four different brands here or types. Um, the first is Cotman, that's Winsor & Newton's student quality paint range. The second is Winsor & Newton's um, professional watercolour, their artist quality. Um, after that, it'll be Sennelier's Raw Sienna, and that's also artist quality. And lastly, Jackson's own brand Raw Sienna, which is also um, artist quality paint. These are the four that I happen to have and use. That's the only reason I'm comparing them. Of course, there are many, many other brands. So let's have a look at the pigment numbers. Um, firstly, starting with the Cotman Raw Sienna, and um, usually on the back somewhere is the, are the details, and we can see that this is made from PY42 and PR101. And if I look at the Windsor and Newton, that's made with the same pigments. So the student quality and artist quality of the same pigments. And these are both synthetic iron oxides, synthetic red and a synthetic yellow that are mixed together to create um, our raw sienna colour. Moving on to the Sennelier, and this is made from PBR7, which is a natural iron oxide. That's what I would have expected for all of them, to be honest. Um, let's have a look at the Jacksons. Um, the Jacksons one, I am thinking, because it looks to me to be a browner colour, is again PBR7, pigment brown 7 again a natural iron oxide so we have two that are made from natural iron oxides and the two on the left the Cotman and the Windsor and Newton from synthetic iron oxides let's see how they compare I'm going to use the back of an old painting it's Saunders Waterford cold pressed paper and I'm going to use a three quarter inch flat brush and I'll swatch each tube out um, in turn starting with a dark value and getting lighter and lighter and let's have a look and see how the colours compare. So starting with the Cotman. So as I would expect it's coming out at a nice earthy yellow. You can see as the paint runs out on the brush and I'll just dip it into a little bit more water um, it gets paler and paler and of course it would go paler still with more water. Um, it's a lovely colour. Ron Ranson called it the great unifier because it's a really nice unifying colour and as a base underneath um, sky colours, landscapes, all sorts of things like that. Um, Cotman is the one that I started with and I still have a real soft spot for it. Um, it's a delicate colour. Now here's the Windsor and Newton, which is exactly the same pigment numbers, the synthetic iron oxides. I think you can see already that this artist quality one is, um, is richer and a lot more pigmented. And I think we can take it down even further to a very light value. Um, and yet it's still really clear and very pretty on the page. 
The colours are very similar here, but I would say definitely that the student quality is less pigmented and the um, artist quality has a much higher pigment load. So again, putting on a nice sort of washy wash so that we can see if there's anything like any granulation and just see how it looks um, when it's washed out like that. This is the Sennelier raw sienna, the first of the um, natural iron oxide samples. And straight away you can see this is a lot browner. It's still not a dark brown, it's still yellowish, earthy. Um, but this is much more what I would expect, um, now I'm a bit more experienced, from a raw sienna. And it's got beautifully nuanced as you add more water and bring the values down from dark through mid values to light values. Um, it's still got a lovely clarity. And that, when it's lots of water has been added to this colour, it's almost as yellow as the ones that are made from the synthetic iron oxide. So I'll just um, just put a little bit of, um, of, of darker value into the washi wash at the top, uh, just so we've got more of a comparison. You can see how much earthier it is when it's painted um, strongly like that. And now on to Jackson's own brand, which is an artist quality. And that looks, it looks quite similar to the Sennelier. But at the moment, it looks a little stronger. It looks a slightly darker hue of brown to me, of brownish yellow. As, as the values become lighter, um, with less pigment and more water, um, it still looks a little bit darker than the Sennelier. Putting in that uh, nice washy wash and of course, watercolour always dries back a little bit lighter, so it'll be interesting to see how it, these sample swatches all look once they are completely dry. So here they are, they're all dry, and let's start from left to right, having um, a slightly closer look. The Cotman, the student quality, is very pale compared to the Windsor and Newton which uses the same pigment numbers. Pigment yellow 42 and pigment red 101 synthetic iron oxides. So um, I mean that follows with student quality being less pigmented than the artist quality and you can see that quite clearly if we zoom in here um, but the kind of hue for both is very pretty, it's really nice. I think these two are much yellower and they've decided to go for a yellower look for these um, compared to the Sennelier and the Jacksons. These are the PBR or Pigment Brown 7s, um, which are the natural iron oxides. And there's a slight amount of granulation in both, which is lovely. The Sennelier is um, a lighter brown, than the Jacksons. The Jacksons is by far the darkest here, but both these colours, when a lot of water is added, the value is um, lightened substantially and it's really clear and really pretty. I think these single pigment raw siennas are a lot nicer than the other two uh, because you get the full range of hues here from the dark value of a sort of fairly light but really earthy beautiful brown um, with more water added to create these lovely um, mid values but the light values are so delicate and pale so I think if you're thinking of buying a raw sienna it will depend on which side you prefer if you're looking for a raw sienna on the yellower side, then the synthetic oxide raw sienna um, will be the one for you, either the student quality or the artist quality um, by Windsor & Newton. But if you like your raw sienna on the earthier side, 
then go for something that's made with a natural iron oxide like the Sennelier or Jackson's. Um, and it's worth having a look on the tubes before you buy and having a look to see which pigment numbers um, the paint that you're purchasing uses. So I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know which one you prefer in the comments below. I'll be really interested to read those comments. And if you have a preferred brand of raw sienna, I'll be interested to read about that too. If you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to everybody that supports us on Patreon. Take care. I'll see you soon and happy painting. Bye.